everyone welcome to easy and beat again this is our third video on this channel and in this video we will be discussing northbound api interfaces in the previous video i have mentioned the importance of southbound api interfaces as we have mentioned before southbound api interfaces enable communication between the control plane and the data plane in sdn architecture Northbound APIs, however, enable communication between the control plane and application plane, also known as management plane. So why do we exactly need northbound APIs and application plane in general? Could we connect to SDN controller directly on the control plane and manage the data plane network devices from that particular controller? Well, theoretically, we could do that, but for security purposes and administration purposes, it is not recommended option. So from security perspective, first, you have to authorize and authenticate to an application. And only after that, you should get access to manage your infrastructure. That's just more secure way of doing things. And from administration perspective, it will be extremely difficult and inefficient to administer entire infrastructure from a command line interface of a Linux operating system, let's say. It's just not efficient. It's not going to work, especially if you have a lot of devices in your infrastructure. So that's why we have the concept of application plane in SDN network. Application plane consists of network applications or services. Uh, which are constructed in graphical user interface format to facilitate administration and management of networking infrastructure, right? Basically, you will have your web browser, you will just open up a GUI page, which will, which will allow you to easily manage and operate your network by, a, by, by just having few clicks on your mouse, you can deploy, provision, and do lots of different operations in your network infrastructure. And from security perspective, in order to connect this application, you have to have a user. And this particular user will strengthen the security side of, of SDN network. So now you have to authenticate to this application first, and only after that you can manage your infrastructure, you can modify your devices, right? So this is why we need application plane. And for these applications, for this web GUI interfaces or whatever services that to, to talk, to communicate with the control plane, with the SDN controller, like open daylight or something, you need northbound APIs, right? There are a lot of northbound APIs. There are a lot of options out there, but I just wrote down the most famous ones, REST APIs, RESTConf, NetConf, and gRPC. We talked about NetConf in the previous video. We're using primarily XML formats to uh, send and interchange data. REST APIs use HTTP protocol to modify uh, and HTTP methods like GET, POST, PUT, DELETE to modify the state of network device, right? And gRPC as a, as a framework by Google and it's also has it also has a similar identical mechanism of work. You are sending RPC requests and then you get RPC reply and based on this request reply exchange you are changing the behavior of network device, right? So what happens when we use northbound APIs? Let's say we have an application based on web GUI interface which allows us to administer our Network, network infrastructure. Let's say you have a data center and in your data center you have Cisco devices. Cisco has specific solution for data center networking. It's called ACI and ACI is a controller itself. So ACI is a controller and to connect, authenticate and manage this particular controller in the control plane, Cisco ACI, you need a, an application, and this application is Cisco APIC, APIC, right? So Cisco APIC stands here in application plane, and ACI stands here in control plane, and you have a bunch of Nexus 9K switches for data center networking, right? On the forwarding plane, right here. 
So first, you are authenticating with your user to the APIC, and then you will have access to control the ACI, Cisco ACI, the SDN controller, right? Basically, what you are doing is you are sending some instructions to the controller from the web GUI interface and control receives these instructions. It processes them in a required way so that network devices should underst could understand that. And then it sends them down, pushes them down to the data plane where Nexus switches are located, let's say, for the sake of argument. And these switches, they receive those instructions after SDN controller has processed them and they just change their behavior based on the set of those instructions, right? So that's it. And if there is a reply, the reply comes back to the application plane with exactly the same pass. So southbound APIs deliver this reply to SDN controller. SDN controller receives them on, on southbound API interface, processes them, and sends up via northbound API to the management plane so that we users who are looking at our screens, at our web GUI interfaces, can understand the reply in a human readable format. So as you can see, this is extremely easy uh, to navigate, to manage, and to operate your network because you don't have to go down on a low level machine language to send instructions and orders to change the behavior of your network devices. And it's more secure because you have a user and this user has restricted access to the infrastructure and you have to authenticate yourself. You have to authorize in order to be able to use network infrastructure to begin with. So that's why we need application plane and northbound APIs, right? And I have another picture, which again, shows the exactly same steps I have just uh, pronounced. Management plane, this is where changes are made via northbound RESTful API secured by TLS, secured. There's also TLS security applied on HTTPS level. Uh, and then we push the changes to the controller, right? And controller receives device management from northbound GUI, delivers config, access control, read commands, southbound via programmatic interfaces, via several API methods and other protocols. Right? And then data plane, the devices that talk to the network controller via the programmatic uh, interface on, on traffic routing, X control, consists of routers, switches, wireless access points, and so on. Basically, just devices, hardware. And here are some benefits of northbound APIs and application plane in general compared to traditional networking. So first of all, programmability. Northbound APIs allow for programmatic control of network devices enabling network automation and programmability. Because we have one standard programmatic interface, we can write some scripts and we can basically uh, like use other methods involving the standards to be able to programmatically configure our devices. Then you have agility. Northbound APIs make it easier to provision, configure, and manage network devices, making it possible to respond quickly to changing business needs. You don't have to lose a lot of time if your business tells you to change the strategy. By using application plane and northbound APIs, you will execute this task faster. Scalability. Northbound APIs can scale to manage large and complex networks, enabling network administrators to manage and monitor their networks more efficiently. So in case you are scaling your network, you're adding a bunch of new devices, all you have to do is just add them to your application plane so that you can have network reachability and now they are they are identified in your management plane as as nodes so that now you can manage them openness nosebound apis enable open networking allowing network administrators to use a variety of networking tools and solutions from different vendors so because we are using APIs and their logical interfaces, a piece of software, as we mentioned before, you can allow other network administrators from other companies to use your northbound API interfaces to get what they need, right? And standardization. So northbound APIs are typically based on open standards, making it easier to integrate different networking tools and solutions. 
because it's a standard way, everyone in the industry knows how to write certain scripts, how to use certain methods to be able to fetch necessary information or configure necessary operation on the device, right? So this is pretty much it. As you can see, uh, we have completed the, you know, the, the SDN architecture by mentioning its primary parts. And hopefully this video has been informative for you. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to comment below. And thank you for watching again.